see you. Thank you for being here. So what are you thinking here? How are you feeling about the big picture? Because we've had an incredible run-up. It looks like we're going to snap the recent weekly winning streak that we're seeing for the major indices. What do you think? Look, from a technical perspective, it's uh, been amazing to see this rally that we've seen since March uh, when the banks failed and the government came in and, you know, bailed out all the depositors. It's been an incredible run uh, led by technology, of course. The overall macro picture, in our opinion, from an economic standpoint, uh, continues to deteriorate. But again, you have to respect this move in the market. Uh, I think right now we're probably overbought uh, in this market. We are expecting what we've been telling our clients, a buyable dip this summer. Uh, so the last five weeks, we've been raising cash from some of our defensive positions in preparation for these buys. And I think the headwind in July that will give us that opportunity to buy some dips is going to be earnings. Look, at the end of the day, we can say AI all we want, but these firms are going, these companies are gonna have to deliver on earnings and we're gonna have to see what guidance is because if they don't deliver on earnings, that's gonna provide some volatility in the marketplace and then of course lastly this fed is probably not done i mean look what uh, is happening overseas with these surprise rate hikes because inflation is staying sticky uh chairman powell said yesterday uh that two rate two more rate hikes were in the cards so uh we are not nearly out of the woods yet from a bear market in our opinion but we do respect this rally uh that we have seen here in the last couple of months so if there is a dip and you were to say, I'm going to buy a dip, right? That sounds interesting to you. What would you do? So if there was a dip that we felt was viable here this summer, we're going to look at health care. Uh, we think there's some good opportunities there. Um, there's some, set, some areas in retail, too, that have gotten really beaten up that we would take a look at. Defense and aerospace as well. That's another area that we're going to be looking to add positions to. And as we look globally and internationally right now, we think India is going to be an interesting play uh, because I think you're going to see more and more firms or companies like Apple take some manufacturing away from China and go into India. So the upside there from a diversification international perspective, uh, we think is very attractive. So those are the areas that we're targeting. And then lastly um, is, uh, is energy as well, too. Uh, and look, if you look at all these areas, they really haven't participated in this rally year to date. So if this truly is the start of a bull market, this rally is going to have to broaden out and these areas will benefit. Uh, we don't think this is the start of a bull market. This would just be something we're buying the dip on that would still do well, in our opinion, if we get a material slowdown uh, in the back half of this year. Look, I mean, are you thinking that, what about some of the names that have already had incredible momentum? You're not going to, say, ride those names like, like tech or communication services or even consumer discretionary. There are some areas and names that have done well. So you're not saying keep on the winners. So we're not going to get FOMO here at the, these levels, right? I want to see what the earnings are for these areas, right? Because these earnings are going to have to accelerate and guidance is going to have to be strong. So I think you'll get opportunities uh, in those areas you just mentioned. Uh, I just don't think right now for our client base that this is the proper entry point. Uh, because again, I think expectations have gotten a little bit over their skis. Um, and I want to see the proof in the pudding in regards to profits, revenues and how they deliver and more importantly their guidance in the back half of the year uh, again one thing that i think is undeniable is the economy is slowing like jobless claims are going up credit is tightening uh, these same problems that we worried about three months ago when these banks failed they're still here so it hasn't gone away just because the government gave us a bailout so we need more data showing that we're on solid footing before we go into some high beta names at these current levels all right so at this point now when you talk to the clients are they generally very concerned or not so much because there could be a recession looming but maybe it won't be as bad as people could expect Look, the majority of our clients are very concerned about the economic backdrop that we had ahead of that we have ahead of us, and they agree with our thesis that we believe that there's a high probability that we will have a recession. Uh, frankly, the recession is 
going to come later than what we had originally anticipated. Uh, but at the end of the day, we are seeing recessions around the globe happen, and we are a global economy. So uh, in our opinion, this slowdown, if it continues to accelerate, then we could potentially see a recession sometime fourth quarter, first quarter next year. Um, and again, if it does get pushed off that late, there's still going to be opportunities in the market uh, before we get in there, because the market has not priced in a recession. So if we do have a recession, uh, I think you're going to see some really big buying opportunities. So we're still going to have money market as a big core position for our clients. Right. They agree with our positioning. They agree with our thesis. Um, and they're seasoned veterans. They've been investing for a long time, so they know what they see. So at this point, you write money market could be core. You talked about some of these areas that you do like, not really chasing tech. What about international? Yeah, so on the international space, again, uh, we are targeting India. Uh, I think India is an interesting play. Look, the Japanese stock market has done very, very well so far year to date. Uh, again, we don't want to chase that at these current levels. Uh, but the setup in India, again, when you take a look at some of these tech companies potentially moving manufacturing there, uh, there is some nice upside. So from an international perspective, we want to be more concentrated in areas that are not in a recession. And then later on, when we see see how what happens with Europe and how deep their recession goes later on maybe next year there'll be some opportunities there uh, but they have quite a bit of headwinds ahead of them right now economically right understood Eddie Gavork he advisors wealth management thank you always Eddie Good thank you for having me